guys, hi YouTube, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm gonna to review my top five um, crochet hair styles that I've tried. These are styles that I just fell in love with. They worked so well for me and I wanted to share with you guys. Maybe you are new at trying uh, crochet braids or you're somebody who has been doing crochet braids like me for a really long time and you're looking out there and you try, wanna try something else and you're not sure about it. I'm gonna do this just really to help you guys out because I've used a lot of crochet hair braids and I'm it comes down to these five that I've like I've reused over. I bought them in different colors. I've washed them over and over, reused them. You guys know I don't really buy new hair. I just wash them and reuse them. Um, so that's really what this video is for. Um, so let's get started. Okay, so the first hair that I had was I wrote everything down so I would remember, and then I'm gonna put the video somewhere here so you guys can see which hair it is. Was the bo boho box braids by Carita Hair? They actually reached out to me, sent me this hair. And I fell in love with it the minute like I took it out. The hair was box braids that had curly ends. Um, and I just really, really, really was in love with it. The volume was amazing. I've washed the hair over and I've reused it over and over and no problems. The hair was low maintenance. I didn't have any like tangling and all that stuff. Like every time I shook it up and woke up, it looked nice. Um, so when I'm uh, comparing uh, crochet braids, uh, crochet braid hair, what do, what do I look for? The first thing is volume. I love volume. You guys know I'm a tall person too. I look for volume. I don't like hair that looks limp um, when you put it on. I don't like hair that you have to like really, really work out like filling up spaces because they look really bad. So usually when I, I get a hair, I can already tell whether they're going to have a lot of volume or not. I just know it. Um, so I look for volume. The next thing I do is use, like over time, if I use it, I wash it. What's, what's happening? How much tangling is happening? Um, how much maintenance do I really have to do on that hair? The other thing is like overall, over time, what, what is the hair doing? Um, the price for packs. Um, typically, I don't go to the beauty supplies anymore because I'm over it. So I try to look at the price for packs. So if I need hair, I'm going to have a big head. I usually use like five packs or so for hair. What is the price like? If it's over like $60 or so, I'm not even doing it. Uh, the other thing is the loops. How small are the loops? Like when you put them, if the loops are small, you really have to put in the work to try to put them into your hair. So that's something I've, over time, I've really looked at. <laughs> so this is the hair that really, really did it for me. Like they just really, yes, they, I love them so much. And I was like, I got to share with you guys. So yeah, for sure. Boho Box Braid by Carita. Yes. The next hair that I tried was the African Collection um, Samba Twist. This hair got me so many compliments. Everywhere I went, people were like, oh my gosh, your hair. One of the things that I love about this hair is that it's so natural looking. It is really long, um, but I'm tall, so that's fine. If you're shorter, it might be really long on you, but it was perfect. Like this hair looks so natural. It looked like somebody took like their blow out and twisted it. And over time, it looked better. Now it did catch like a little limp balls or something, you know, if you're sleeping without, without a bonnet, of course. But over time, like, I just was like amazed. I kept looking at the mirror and I haven't got it in different colors because I was like, this hair is so on point. And for like, I think four packs or so, it was like 20 something dollars. You can't beat it. And all the information for all the videos that I did for this hair is going to be below and all the prices and all the stuff you guys want to order for yourself. Most of them are on Amazon, but others you can just go to your beauty supply and find them, which I wouldn't recommend. But anyway, um, yeah, so Samba Twist by African Collection was, was life. It, it just gave me everything that I'm looking for. I like longer hair because I, as I told you guys, when you're tall, curvy, um, they balance me out way better. So I always prefer longer. Like right here is okay, but longer is really the one that I've noticed that I'm just like, yes. Okay, the third hair that I tried was Free Chest Senegalese Twist. This goes way back. I remember the video is a little bit older, you guys are going to see. But this hair was perfection. The twists were perfect. Um, every time I washed it and reused it, I used it for almost two years, you know, in rotation. No issues. Like, the hair just looked better. I remember one time I wore it and my mom was like, did you buy a new hair? And I was just like, no, this is the same hair I've had for years and for two years or so. And she was just amazed. Like, it looks really, really nice. And I was just like, yes, the volume was good. It looks really natural. And even over time when it gets older, it just looks better. And just a little conditioner, you know, wash it and it's set to go. So, free dress and a glaze twist was yes. Number four is Afro, Afro Twist by Goodyear. I can't really say their, uh, their Afro Twist. Um, yeah, it was their Afro Twist. Um, and yeah, this hair was perfect. Um, I got like four packs when they sent it to me. Added, uh, I think, two more packs because 
it was it wasn't enough for my big head but overall this hair was so natural looking the volume was amazing um and the color was just so perfect and once again you guys are gonna see the clip here like it's so so nice like yes this hair did it um and lastly i don't want the video to be too long was the ymh pride um uh full locks this hair was another one that i'm currently wearing and it is perfect it looks natural over time i actually washed it uh last week with um laundry what is it called like downy the softener i put that on in the water and washed it just with that and it looks really nice still now it is starting to get kind of like this a little bit but I'm, i just use scissors and cut them and then i go in with mousse and put it on the curls and to me it still looks really nice i mean this is what you want your crochet hair to do to give you life and it's doing that still so that's really it for me for, for you uh i can't talk anyway yeah so this is the last hair the ymh pride uh four, four locks and i love this hair as well because it did all the things that i was talking about it had volume when I use it over time, um, no major issues. A little bit of this, you know, you can cut that with scissors. Um, the price was really good. Uh, the curls, like, look at it. It's amazing. Um, and the loops were really easy to work with. So, yeah. Yeah. So, this is pretty much it, guys. I just wanted to share that with you guys, my top five favorite uh, crochet styles. Um, and I'm going to leave all the information in the description box if you guys want to check them out or buy them and stuff like that. But yeah, this video hopefully helps somebody out there who's starting out with crochet braids and you're like, where do I start? This is it right here. And also, you, I follow Leah LaVon. She always does reviews on crochet braids. That helped a little bit, but her style, you guys, and I, I'll see you guys in the next one. I can't talk. Bye.